Hello, this is Ben from Computer World. In this demonstration today, I'm going to show you how to create several different types of groups within NSX Manager to use with functionality such as the distributed firewall. To get started within vCenter, I'm going to launch NSX Manager by clicking on Network and Security. I'm then going to launch the section to create groups, which is under Groups and Tags. And then I'm going to click Add to create my first security group. So within here, I'm going to give the security group a name. So I'm just going to call it NSX Demo VMs. And I'm going to click Next and Next again. And here we can pick the objects we want to become a member of the security group. So in the drop down menu, you can see there's quite a large set of options we've got here, including items such as you know, IP sets, security tags, data centers, and even virtual machines, as you would expect. So here I'm going to choose to pick virtual machines out of this list. I'm just going to use the search functionality to narrow down my criteria slightly. So I'm just going to search on the option VM. This lists all the virtual machines I have with the word VM in. So I'm just going to pick out the app, DB, and two web VMs. I'm going to click the right-hand button to move them over, then click Next. I'm not going to exclude any options. So I'm just going to click Next to move on. And then I'm ready to complete. Um, I can quickly click Objects to Include, and this shows me that I've picked four virtual machines to become a member of this group. Then click Finish to complete. So now, as you can see, I've got a new group called NSX Demo VMs, and it's got four static members, which were the four virtual machines I picked out. The next group I'm going to create is a dynamic security group. So as before, give the group a name, Web VMs in this example, and click Next. And this is where I define the membership of this group. So in this example, I'm going to filter on VM name. And if the VM name contains the word web, it's automatically going to become a member of this security group. So that's the only criteria I'm going to set for this group. So I'm just going to click through next, next again, and finish. And this has created my dynamic security group. The final group I'm going to create in this demonstration is going to use Active Directory. So I've already pre-created an AD security group called AD SSH users, and I've added a user account to use later in a subsequent demonstration. So going back into NSX Manager, I'm going to create a new group by clicking Add, give it a name as before, this time AD Allow SSH. I'm going to click Next and Next again. And this time I'm going to set the group to link to an Active Directory security group. So in here, I'm going to choose the Directory Group option. This lists all the groups available to me within AD. I'm just going to use the search functionality to filter it down. So here we have the group I created earlier. So I'm going to click right to move it over, then click next, next again. And if we click the objects to include button, we can see it's based on AD SSH users directory group. We click finish to create the group. So I've now created three security groups, one called NSX demo VMs, which I've manually added virtual machines to. The second called web VMs, which is a dynamic security group. And the third group called AD allow SSH, which is linked to active directory. This wraps up this first demonstration. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.